Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my copywriting research process video. And in this video, I'll essentially be using the research that I used in my first video, which if you haven't watched, it'll be down in the description. And I'll actually use what we compiled here to start writing a homepage for a pretend business. And this will give you an idea of the process of actually researching an industry, a client, its competitors, and then using that to write copy. Now, just to recap, we essentially came up with a mock company called John's Renovation New York. It would be a home renovation company in New York City. And what we did is we collected a bunch of different resources and you can actually get the template in the last video in the description. And I might put it in the description of this video as well. But essentially what I like to do before I start any kind of marketing or copywriting project is research. And this is something I see with my students and people make the mistake all the time is they just jump right into writing and they don't do any research. And you have to do research to understand the market, the client, the business, the target audience, the competition, just understand the whole market and the landscape and then that gives you everything you need to write because when you have a ton of resources here and notes and testimonials that's going to really speed up how fast you write you don't get writer's block and it just improves the quality of your work and what we can use blog posts in particular for is coming up with content ideas of our own understanding the target audience picking up on trends and opportunities uh, search engine keywords there's a lot of things you can get from blogs so just for example if i went to this one right here um, we can see different topics and content they have and then we can start to actually go through these and get more ideas and understand the market a little bit more. But let's close that out. So we collected some blog posts and articles here. Market reports, really uh, good information to kind of understand the market, statistics, trends and opportunities. So I collected a bunch of different ones around New York real estate and kind of real estate in general, um, people buying and selling homes, what they're looking for in renovations. And we can use this to pick up on a lot of different data. And again, just understand the landscape and who we're speaking to. And then something that's really important is mining reviews. Okay, so you can look on Reddit, you can go to the company's Google listing or competitors' Google listings, and then I literally just copy and pasted a bunch of big testimonials or kind of relevant ones that I found. For example, this testimonial that I pulled from another renovation company, uh, some notes I took was one, the company itself, they understand the consumer, they understand their budget, they give them a custom quote. They don't try to skirt around the rules, they have everything in terms of licensing and regulations. Um, they had good listening skills and they review the situation and then speak to you thoroughly um, about what happened and different options you have. So again, you want to go through reviews and testimonials and then pull little tidbits from them. What can you kind of pull out of it that allows you to understand the consumer's mindset, what they value, what they're looking for in your product and service? Another testimonial here, I found that having a warranty and that kind of guarantee was really important to them. So then we can make sure that we have that in our copy and our website. Um, and also taking care of the warranty and any issues free of charge. So if there's anything kind of related to that, they handle it. Um, there's a couple other ones I pulled here. So one-stop shop, no need to hire a designer or architect. They assign you one in-house. They take care of securing the city and building permissions. The price quoted was pretty much what it ended up being. So they didn't get one quote and then it ended up being more expensive. Um, they sent detailed weekly reports, photographs, and updates throughout the project. Again, just take testimonials and try to mine little things from them. And these are just notes I can use when I'm writing copy. And I'll show you in a moment when we actually write a homepage from scratch, um, how we're actually gonna use this. And now some other things I was looking at, the client's web page, um, what can we learn from that? So before and afters were really important. We probably want links to news and blog posts. We wanna include social proof about awards and anything we've achieved. Um, on the about page, we probably want photos of the team, our work. We're just gonna do the homepage today as an example to show you again just how this research translates into copy, but these were things we essentially pulled from um, a competitor's website that we're pretending is ours. Social media, so again, um, looking at Reddit and these different forums and communities, um, how much are deposits going to be? We want something between affordable, but good, uh, good quality. We wanna make sure that they're insured and licensed. We wanna guarantee and warranties. The website and the branding needs to be on point. So when I was looking up what people were saying about choosing a renovation company, they cared a lot about the branding and the website because I thought it made them look more professional and that they cared and they were putting investments into their, you know, their image and their work and then probably their services as well. But you can look at other forums, competitors, um, internal docs and guidelines. We're not working with a, a real company or a client, so we won't have anything there. Um, buyer persona, we can put some stuff here. I didn't fill all of this out in the first video just to kind of keep things simple. And you know, as you can see, there's tons of information that we have. But again, I recommend going back to that first video to kind of see how the research is done. And you can also get this document um, that's blank and they can fill it out yourself. But generally what we're looking at is the client, competitors, uh, the target audience, and then the product or the service that we're selling. So now to write a homepage, typically what I'm gonna do is use somewhat of a framework um, or, or a wireframe that looks like this. So we have our hero section 
first of all. So that's typically where we'll do heading one. We're gonna have our headline. We're gonna have our subhead, which goes below that, and then our CTA or our button. Typically they go hand in hand, okay? And then we also want probably a relevant image in the background. And this is what I like to do anytime I'm writing copy or I'm doing a marketing campaign is just flesh out kind of a blueprint or a wireframe. We can actually use another tool as well that'll show you uh, to help with this. So we have hero section. We definitely need features um, and benefits slash the services we provide. We're gonna have social proof and testimonials. We're gonna have a final call to action uh, area. And then we'd have the footer, which you know in this case, we probably won't really need to write too much copy. We can kind of just map out um, maybe some of the different sections in there. Um, and then we also need um, a content area where we'll put the different content that we have. So for example, that would be like links to you know, blog posts, news and updates. Do that there. Make sure that's normal text. So social proof and testimonial. So also what we'll do um, below the hero section is a logo bar. That's really common. So generally the homepage format, depending on the company itself, it looks something like this. So you have your hero section, you have a logo bar, which essentially is the list um, of logos you've worked with or you're associated with. Now, if we're a renovation company and we're servicing kind of like, you know, your average person that wants to update their bathroom, their kitchen, something like that, um, a logo bar isn't gonna work in the traditional sense because we need to more show maybe awards and things like that and credentials. So that's what I'm gonna put here. So we'll say like awards and credentials. And then we have our features and benefits. Um, obviously it's mapping out exactly what we offer, the benefits of that, um, social proof and testimonials. So under this, we'll do features with an internal link to the individual service page. So for example, if we mention, um, you know, bathroom remodeling, we'll have a link to that individual page, kitchen remodeling and so on. Um, social proof, so this would just be pretty much like a, a carousel uh, of reviews. We can do that, we have a content area, final CTA, so it'd kind of be like what we have in the hero section. Just one final call to action as they scroll through the page. And there's kind of a general format and wireframe you can use for just about any industry. And of course it changes business to business, but generally you have your hero section, you have that social proof with the logo bar, you're explaining what you do, the benefits of it, social proof to build that trustworthiness and credibility. We have our content area where they, if they wanna read blog posts, news, press releases, we have that. And our final call to action before we have the footer area. So to begin, let's actually start just writing some ideas in here and actually start on this. So. For the headline, typically what I like to do is something like addressing pain point, providing a solution and a unique value proposition. Now in this case as well, um, we're a local service company. So that means we wanna have a local SEO keyword. In this case, it'd be New York. So for example, we can, we can write New York renovation company We'll do, for example, heading two. We'll say New York's top renovation company for affordable home renovations. And in this case, um, you know, this isn't kind of like a, a sales letter, sales page where we can get really kind of crafty um, with the headline. We wanna be kind of straightforward, have a little bit of social proof there, still have a, a mechanism and kind of address the, the target audience and the area. But where we can actually be a little bit more creative is in the subhead, okay? So this is where we can elaborate a little bit more on the headline and add in some additional strategies. And to do that, let's actually just go back to our research page right here. We'll scroll up and kind of start looking through some of our notes. So of course we did um, address the budget, good listening skills, warranty. We can actually probably say something about backed by warranties. Something like that. So I wanna write something on the front of this, but we can say some kind of copy and then backed by warranties and our money back guarantee. Or actually, probably wouldn't have a money back guarantee with a service like this. We'll say lifetime warranty. Let's go back to our research doc. Mm, one stop shop. Actually, you know what? New York's top renovation company. One stop. 
renovation company for affordable home renovations. I'll say bring your dream to life with our services backed by lifetime warranty. So it's pretty good. Again, we're not trying to write something um, you know, too in-depth and spend a lot of time here. I just want to show you how we can use that research to write. So again, pulling from the research, um, warranties and having a guarantee I found when I was looking at testimonials was really important to consumers. So I added that. And then something I found is that consumers like one-stop shops. They didn't want to constantly go to like a bunch of different companies for quotes and services. They wanted something all together. So you see how I kind of built that into the headline here. And also we're making it more emotionally driven by talking about bringing your dream to life because typically when people do home renovations, um, as I saw doing the research, is they kind of have their dreams, they're doing you know uh, different things online, doing research, coming up with ideas, and the renovation company can, can bring that to life. So we have that, so let's just cut that out. And then for the CTA, we'll probably say, it'd be a button, so probably like get a free quote, get a free quote today. And that essentially would be the button they could click and it would probably either call them or maybe it goes to the contact page. And so let me just highlight that just so we understand that. So that'd be a hero section. Then of course we'd add a, a relevant image maybe of us working on a certain project, uh, maybe a nice finished home or bathroom, kitchen, something like that. And then we have the logo bar. So let me just pull in um, some logos or credentials maybe we can uh, get from another website. Okay, I like this actually. It's a logo bar I found on a website. And we would do something like this maybe where we list um, kind of the star rating we have on different things like Google, Yelp, uh, Better Business Bureau, House, and so we can do that. And we could actually probably add the awards and credentials maybe a little further down, potentially even maybe before the footer, or even inside the footer works as well. So we'll kind of revisit that. But you do want some kind of social proof and a logo bar if possible, so we'll do that. Now features and benefits. So let's actually go back and let's go to maybe some uh, competitor websites. Let me pull up some out of here. And so it should be in this section. I think in the last video I didn't add any, but we can actually do that now. So let's look up some New York renovation companies. Okay, so I pulled up a competitor here. Let's kind of see if we can get any ideas. Looks like they have some before and after, some of their work, our process. Actually, you know what? That's actually a good idea. Let's add that to ours. So we have features and benefits of what we do. And then we're gonna have an hour process section. So let's do heading two. I like that a lot as seen on. So there's a logo bar that I was talking about. They have it a little bit lower on the page, but you definitely need that recognition and awards. So you know what? Let me just kind of save that for now, just to use as an example later. They have the form at the bottom of the page. Okay. Let's go to this other one here. Experience A to Z renovations. Got the logo bar, interesting. Okay, so you see how they have the features and benefits here, I like that. So let's go back to our section. And what I'll do just to kind of lay it out nicely is add a table. Let's just say like, we'll do something like this. And so, so bathroom, renovations. And then let's say kitchen. Basement renovations, maybe we'll say landscaping. Let's take a look at what these guys do actually. Kitchen, bathroom, home remodeling. Okay, we can say home remodeling, kind of in general maybe. And then we'll kind of keep it like that, I guess. We'll do kind of like five major ones right there. And then essentially we need to add some copy under these. And again, this is features and benefits. So the features are the factual pieces of information about the service, so we're doing certain renovations, but then the benefit is actually what it's doing for the consumer, and that's what they actually desire, and that's what they want. So we wanna make it a little bit more emotionally driven and kind of translate it into how it's gonna benefit them in their day-to-day -day life. So let's just write some copy here.
So I just wrote something here, turn your bathroom into an at-home oasis. We help with everything from walk-in tubs to vanities and shower conversions. And what I'll actually do is I'm gonna check out what they're writing on this page because this website seems actually pretty fleshed out. So renovate, refresh, rejuvenate, A to Z renovations creates bathroom masterpieces. Let's transform your boring bathroom into a serene retreat. I actually kind of like that, let us transform. So we can use kind of language like that. You'll see transform your bathroom into an at-home oasis. Let's pull that back up. Refresh, rejuvenate, renovate. We'll say we help refresh. Kind of use some power words there. Everything from walk-in tubs, so on. And let's go over to kitchen, see kind of what they're writing for kitchens. Let us create your dream kitchen. Our team of experts are creating luxury kitchen havens. Okay. Okay, so in the is the kitchen the heart of your home? We take care of everything from design to building so you can enjoy cooking and hosting. And then of course we do need a button here. So we'll say like learn more. And then that would be a button. So I'll just kind of link it to like something like this just so it looks like a, a link. We'll do it like that. Do learn more. We got basement renovations. Let's see, so I don't think these websites had basement renos on them. Bathrooms, full remodel, design and build. Yeah, not on here. Let me pull up the research doc. Oh, you know what we need to? We also need um, photos or a gallery. I'm actually surprised I uh, forgot that. So features and benefits, I got our process. Yeah, so we definitely need to show our work. So pretty much this would be the gallery where we show before and after. So let me just add that. And then essentially we would insert a carousel or photos of our work, maybe before and afters as well. I actually forgot that and the research doc helped a lot. So it comes in handy there. Uh, basement renovations. So what we put here is if you're looking for a rec room or a legal basement to rent for income, our team of experts will remodel your basement to exactly what you imagine. We'll add that again, have the link there landscaping so I had a little bit of copy here I don't think there was anything for landscaping on here so let me look up a website so I pulled up a couple landscaping websites just kind of see if I can pull some notes or anything from here so they do lawn maintenance snow services landscape installations there's another one here. So quality service, great value. Landscaping for less. So without compromising on fair pricing, professional standards. Okay. So a well-crafted outdoor space not only elevates aesthetics, but also enriches lives. It's kind of interesting. So we'll use something like that. So we'll do that, add our button here, and then home remodels. So in here, I did know we had some copy actually, so full remodel. Let's see, reimagine, redesign, and renew your New York home with our remodeling services. So redesign and renew your home with our full remodeling services, custom built for your needs and vision. 
do that. Let's bump that back down. Nice. So we have that. We got our features and benefits. So this actual section, like how we would title it on the website, typically we want um, our SEO keyword in there. So we can probably say like our New York renovation services and it would be a, a heading to H2 title. So that'll help with SEO. And then we have our process. So again, I really like that that one site kind of mapped out exactly what they do. Yeah, so consult, design and work scope, product selection, renovation. Let me see, I don't think I can copy that, but yeah, so we'll say, we'll actually probably do, yeah, okay. So we'll do like this. So we'll say initial consultation and free quote. So we can just say something like this, for example. So we'll make those in the heading threes. Let me number them as well. So we have our process, map all that out. So just for example, we would have, you know, social proof and testimonials in that section too. So I can just kind of copy something in as an example. Okay, throw in some social proof there, our work. We can actually probably do the same thing. Let me try to find something. Again, we'd actually insert our own testimonials and, and gallery and whatnot, but um, we do want to just put something in there kind of as a, a placeholder. So our work makes sense under here. We can say what our happy clients say. That would be the, uh, the H2 title there, content area. Explore our latest content and news. And so under here in the process section, again, let's go back to the renovation uh, research doc and kind of just pull from I think the testimonials, we have some different things here. History of the company, our values and mission statement, team positions, that's important. Guarantee, licensing and insurance, we definitely have to add that. So let's talk under initial consultation. So Richard to return for a free, no obligation quote. Schedule a time for us to visit your property. This is the first step in working with us and bringing your renovation dreams to life. Scope of work. So from here, we agree on the scope of work and price. With John's renovation, the price you see is the price you pay. We pride ourselves in being honest and direct, and there are no unexpected, unexpected fees or costs. Again, so something I saw when I was looking up testimonials and conversations online was that people didn't like when they got a certain quote, but then when the work got done, it was like, you know, multiples of that or double. So I wanna make sure that we kind of use that in our copy but because it directly speaks to the, the target audience. Product selection, let me look up that website again with that. So product selection. So we're gonna go shopping with our designer who will help you choose all the materials. Nice, okay. You'll work with our in-house designer and architect to pick the perfect materials that match what you envision. Something I also pulled um, that you might've seen here in the doc was that um, they liked when everything was kind of a one-stop shop, it was in-house, and also when they were working with a, a designer and it was kind of like aligning with their vision. So I wanna make sure that we're using copy like that too. So you'll work with our in-house designer and architect to pick the perfect high quality materials that match what you envision. Your satisfaction, once the job You'll love your new home or renovations and we're happy to work with you. Again, just something in there, just for example. We're not trying to write anything um, too crazy. And then we have what our happy clients say, our work. 
explore our latest news and content. So in here, we probably just have like a little section. I'll use a table just kind of as an example where we'd have like blog post title, um, read more, maybe like a little, we definitely have like an image, maybe like a little excerpt, for example. So we'll have that blog post title. We can add that as a heading three image excerpt. This would be like the, uh, the link before. So we'll have that. So blog post title, maybe press release title and news article, for example. So just like a little layout like you saw on some of the other websites where um, this is kind of like a few different columns or sections to map out the content. So we would have that right there. And then the heading two says explore our latest content and news. And now the final call to action area, this is gonna be pretty similar to what we did up top. So what we'll do here is say, actually we kind of said bring your dream to life a couple times. We don't wanna repeat ourselves, we pull up some ideas. So renovate, refresh, rejuvenate. Let's go back to full remodel, yeah. So we'll say, redesign your home when New York's trusted, most trusted renovation company. Heading two, and then we'll probably actually center that. And then we need the subhead, get a free no obligation quote. start towards your new home. We can center that as well. And then we would have that kind of same call to action button for getting a quote, or maybe even could change it to something like call us now. Could probably test out different things like that. Just an example, so we have that relevant, ima relevant image, sorry, uh, in the background. And then in the footer, you know, we don't really take care of that normally as a copywriter, the designer or developer would, so we can leave that out. But I did like the idea of adding some like awards or credentials. I think that could be really good because we have our reviews up here. We have our services, our process. Let me actually rename that so it'd be something like our process, what our happy clients say, our work, explore the latest content. You can also get rid of that. Recenter that as well. But even for now, just as an example, it's actually not you know too bad. But um, just again, I just want to show you how you can take your copywriting research and then use that to actually impact the copy you're writing. Again, just to refresh. So with this document, it'll be in the description, a fresh blank one. You're collecting resources like blog posts, market reports. You're looking at reviews, um, taking those and then mining them and trying to get little insights and things that you can use to reflect in your sales copy and speak to the customer's desires and pain points and needs. We have uh, different things like the client's website pages. Um, again, this is a, a made up company, but you can kind of get different things, um, you know, and pull in different notes here. You can also look at social media and pull notes from different conversations and forums. You can pull up competitors and put them in there. If you have internal guidelines like content and branding guidelines, you can put them in there and have a link directly to them. Uh, the buyer persona, this is important too. Um, just mapping out age, income, psychographics, things like that. We wanna answer questions about the products. So in our case, it was renovations for homes, bathrooms, basements, and so on. Um, the benefits here of you know creating your dream home, improving property value, being able to show off to guests, things of that nature. What are the emotions involved? Unique value proposition. What problems does it solve? How much does it cost? Turnaround time. So all of these things you map out. It doesn't have to be very long either. You can just take 30 to 60 minutes. It doesn't have to be, you know, multiple days or, you know, really strenuous. And then you're going to use that again when you're writing your copy. And I guarantee you're going to write faster. You're not going to hit writer's block as often or really at all. And you're ultimately just going to improve the performance um, of your sales copy, which is going to grow your business or leave a client very, very happy. 
And now if you want to learn more about copywriting, you can join the Copy Pro Academy in the description to get all my programs and also coaching and feedback from myself. You can check out my blog and other content I have that will teach you about digital marketing, freelancing, and copywriting. Make sure to subscribe as well. If you're new to the channel and you want more content around copywriting and related topics, I hope copywriting and everything is going wonderful for you, and I'll see you in the next video.